a certain blogger that I've never met now took he saw something happening in that country that was not biblical the thing that was happening was it was men of God leading men of God that were responsible for it so in order to critique that thing he went and got one of my message caught a part of it and presented it as part of the argument to establish a case against that trend you are welcome to kingdom of the tv channel we see apostle Arimi was trying to talk about a blogger who tried to cut a part of his video and begin to say some certain things now this is a channel truth and love channel and they all we will see that in in this channel you just see many conspiracies against Arame and his clan um he used to bring Arame clans together to just create a clash he's Arame son use an anointing water you just find out that his plan is just you know stand against apostle Arame as i mean why we've we found out that this channel is created by a son of a prophet Obert angel now this is a video we're talking about this is a video he said this is why he couldn't or rock book and do this wow apostle i remember i failed miracle analysis talked about apostle mike oropo so this video we're going to be looking into right now because we're going to be cropping what i remember i says and the full of this video the full of this video so you can know the whole stuff thank you i remember blessed as you watch in jesus name amen may the lord give you understanding <laughs> of all kinds of pressures of persecutions that came because of the message of the kingdom and even till now, we are going through persecutions, which is a sign that we are in alignment. <laughs> Hallelujah. What the persecutors don't know is that they are making us eligible for heavier measures of the spirit of glory because you cannot overthrow what God is doing. The spirit of glory dot rest upon you. Are you there? Went to preach in one country and uh, unfortunately before we came is it unfortunate? Unfortunate. Depending from on the angle you are looking at it from. A certain blogger that I've never met now took he saw something happening in that country that was not biblical the thing that was happening was it was men of god leading men of god that were responsible for it so in order to critique that thing he went and got one of my message caught at a part of it and presented it as part of the argument to establish the case against that trend let's get into it don't be afraid i'm here okay i'm here don't worry can we pray that strength will come upon these legs now? So this is the lady you were talking about who you were saying that, you know, she was, you know, she had a problem with her leg, but she wasn't healed. I saw a lot of messages from you. Okay, that's fine. So um, we're just going to start with, uh, because I had to look at the full video. So we're going to start with where the whole thing began. So it started when Apostle Aaron was actually looking for a person who he said the Lord Jesus had sent him to who had a problem with their ear. This is what he said. I'm not talking about a deaf situation from last year. I'm talking about right now. We have a testimony here for the young you, girl. Wait, wait, you see? Because Jesus, come. Because Jesus sent wait, me someone. to the person. Jesus sent me to the person that he will heal the ears. So for the sake of time, I'll just skip to the moment where, he, uh, where the person came out. The person who is alleged to be the person who was uh, having a problem with the ear. So this is the person. Okay. You want me to repeat? Please. Yeah. Um, I had the operation three, four years ago on this ear. Yes, yes. The staple, which is a very tiny, like mustard seed inside the ears, yes. where you can hear, it had calcium grown on it. So I stopped hearing completely. So when I went to have an operation in hospital by the consultants, he did a laser to get rid of only, to get rid of only the calcium. What he did, he broke the original staple that originally I hear from. So I, I was left deaf completely so can you hear a little tonight to, when you spoke when you said the first time about the ear i went like this and i could hear a little which usually i cannot hear nothing so she's saying that she was healed from uh, an ear problem in a right ear so this is what we can get from this video okay 
So let's continue. Air. So you head from here? From this ear a little, but not a lot like this one. Okay, so that ear that she couldn't hear from at all, she can hear a little from. Wait, we are not done. So we have so many things to pray about. Your ear, you broke, this leg. You broke the leg. It's nearly three months now. It's healed. I've, um, I've had a bad news about my mom. Not very well. She's, you know, and then I ran down the stairs. And I missed okay. the third step and broke my feet. My ankle dislocated. The consultant can put it back. It's healed, but I can't use it yet. So, yes, this is rather confusing, you know. Maybe English is not a primary language. So, she is saying that, you know, uh, she broke her ankle and then uh, the doctor put it in place and that she is healed, but she can't use it. It doesn't make sense. So, I, I think that she has a problem with the ankle. That's why she's using those two um, walking aids over there. Okay. So... Um, let's start from here. Okay. I believe I'm sent to you. I believe Jesus sent me to you. Oh, that's a powerful statement over there. So if Jesus uh, sent Apostle Arma to this lady, it means that everything concerning her is to be brought into completion, I believe. I hope we agree on that. Let's continue. All right, let's pray for her and rebuke the deafening spirits. Can we do that? The deafening spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, I think there should be an improvement on your ear now. Yeah, block this. Don't worry. Let's let's test. Yeah, I can hear. So she's saying that uh, she can now hear. So let's now move on to the to the leg. So the next thing now is uh, your leg. Okay. Yes. Um. Were you expecting a healing here? Because it seems you are not expecting. <laughs> so now I'm confused. Um, he's now saying that uh, she she was she wasn't expecting to be healed when it comes to her leg. Oh, uh, well, this is the lady's response. Lord, I'm coming, Lord, with no expectation, but you... No expectation. You guys are saying that he jumped on to say that uh, she, she had no expectation. Well, she's saying that she had no expectation of any other thing, but she just wanted to experience the presence of the Lord, of which we know that in the presence of the Lord, where the presence of the Lord is manifested, everything is sorted out, everything is solved. If you have any need, it is sorted out. So I believe this is uh, the latest revelation. Let's go. No expectation. But your presence... Your your presence is important. Do what you want, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I have so much need, but he knows. All right. So can we pray for this woman again? Uh, now uh, we want to ask that the Lord will... Don't be afraid. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Don't worry. Can we pray that strength will come upon these legs now? <laughs> so there he was now praying for the lady to be healed. And you know, when people are gathering, they expect the healing to be instant, all right? But we'll talk about some of these other things um, after this, after this. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come, come. Uh, Nav Nadia, can you lay hands on, on that ankle down there? Just hold my hand, don't worry. Go down, go down to the ankle. Just lay hands on that thing. I don't know what it's called. Just and pray. No, no, don't worry. Pray. Pray on it. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, let's walk. The Lord, the Lord. Now, with that thing on your leg, can you walk? Remove it. Let's remove it. Let's, let's try. Put your leg there. Jesus. Okay. If it pains you, I will stop. Yeah. If you feel the pain, let me know. I will stop. Okay. Okay. Take her back. So God wants to heal your ears. So the apostle later said that the Lord wanted to heal her ears, you know, but not the leg. So that's the issue that a lot of you had where you were sending uh, all those messages in the comments. Oh, that's fine. Um, let's first finish the video and then we'll come back. My friend. <laughs>
so um don't worry don't worry i'm giving you seven days seven days to throw this thing away really all right let me pray for you so that i can run all right no you guys are trying to set me up you know as a person who's always uh critical of this man of god yes i know the bible says do unto others as you of them do unto you if you over criticize others expect to be over criticized but uh okay i'm going to look at this you know um if we look at scripture in the book of uh luke uh chapter 17 verse 14 it talks about those 10 lepers right um and it says that uh, Jesus told them to go and show themselves to the priests. And the Bible says that, you know, and as they went, they were cleansed. But, you know, there's a revelation on healing that, you know, some people get healed as they go, right? Like as they went, they will be healed. And also when it comes to, you know, gifts of the spirit, there are gifts of healing and uh, the working of miracles and all those things. If we look at the healing ministry, there are others who are, who are anointed to pray for the sick and those uh, people who are sick, they get healed as they go. And there are people who get healed instantaneously. All right. So maybe Apostle Arume is not that person who prays for people and it happens instantly. I do not know. Maybe. But I also remember this video where he said that there are some areas where he can be used to heal the sick and some areas where he cannot. Let's listen. You need to grow in the gift of healing to know the aspect, the sickness that your own unique expression of healing has more potency for. The one on Michael Robo is makes crippled people healed that is that is other people will be healed but the number of crippled almost almost always when cripples come that one can attend to it you will see there is a bias even though others are healed there seems to be a bias a specialty for cripples on the healing anointing that he has all right like i am an expert in deafness oh yeah so you heard him so you did been people like uh michael oropo and uh, a situation like that had come the person would have been healed but uh since it's not opposed to arumis area that's why maybe he struggled so this is just you know a heads up for some people you know if you have some certain conditions just know if it's deafness you go to apostle arumi but if it's a cripple or anyone who cannot walk uh that's not his area you would know you would now need to use your faith all right are you there and I've never met this um, blogger. Never met him before. I hear that preachers pay bloggers to fight people and to do all that stuff. <laughs> that one is not a preacher. If you can pay money for someone to criticize somebody, he's, 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 he's in circus. You know those days, there's something that we used to call circus. How many of you still remember it? If you, are not, if you have not been around in the 70s, you may not know what I'm talking about. Just drama. So, and it's interesting to know that I preached that sermon like two years before the blogger is using it now to critique a situation. And I had a meeting in that nation at the time. The first thing we experienced was that our billboards that were everywhere. I know, I know you know what I'm talking about. The People were mobilized and they were not mobilized from other places, from church, churches to vandalize our billboard. In fact, the owner of the man renting the bill, sorry, the owner of the billboard, the guy that rents the billboard out, say in the history of this billboard, it has never been vandalized. Commotion everywhere. Commotion everywhere in that nation. And I prayed about it. God was this saying, go. And that was enough for me. Are you, are you there? Then the spirit of glory <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> ah, he said, when you are, when you are, let me, where's that scripture? I need, I need that scripture back. First Peter chapter 4, verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. Happy are ye. Everything was done to make that meeting flop. I'm not talking about small men. I'm talking about men that, heavy men. Everything was done to make sure that that meeting flopped. And you know what? Because it was of God, it could not be overthrown. That was one of the litmus tests that, that showed me that uh, even if I am called to be with the Lord, what has happened? What is taking place will not die. No, it's I saw men in authority fight. 
and they lack the ability to overthrow it. He said, happy are you? That this is the, this is the route to authority. This is the route to spiritual capacity. Because if you are going to be an emissary for the kingdom of God and you don't have marks of suffering, you are a liar. There's going to be resistance because you want to stand for God. People will rise up, but it is a sign of good things. You are being recommended for another measure of the spirit of glory that raises up. That, that will discomfit the efforts and the arguments of men to suppress. This is a way of promotion in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I remember during my youth service, there was a fellowship that I, I felt led to be part of. And um, those were the days that, you know, before I left camp, campus, little anointing had come on my life. So when I went for youth service, it was an opportunity for me to train myself in the law, train myself for ministry. So when we got part of that fellowship, I got involved. And the hand of God began to come on me. Hallelujah. I was a simple teacher and an intercessor at that time. I was not a powerful man. But when I finished teaching, the glory of God will come into that place and all kinds of encounters will begin to take place. In fact, some of them, I, I, I don't even know how it comes. So, there were preachers in that fellowship that felt that I was stealing the show. So, what they did was that they got a lady to testify against me that I committed fornication with her. So, and as my custom is, I don't defend myself. Now, if it is me you are attacking, forget about it, I won't, I won't say anything. But if you, if you, if you are doing something that will bring injury to the body of Christ, me, I can sleep. That thing you are doing, do it without putting it online because you are going to damage the body. I will rise up. I have a calling along that line to respond to you. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That my practice you are trying to sell, I will use the Bible and pick it out. This is not, this is contraband. And when I'm doing that kind of business, I don't bring the person into the view. What is wrong is not the person. What is wrong is the malpractice. Do you understand? So I, it's part of my business, okay? So the lady testified that I this virgin that. So the whole congregation said, yes, I, I kept quiet. Even my friends, close friends came to ask me. He said, That's not what you respond. Don't defend yourself. Allow God. You know, God, it's just like Jesus was killed and buried. And then the court of heaven sat on the matter. And then resurrection was the response of the final justice terminal. Ah, don't be in a hurry to prove. Don't stand up and say, hey. it means if you do that, you are you are guilty. You are you have something. There's something you are trying to preserve. So I kept quiet. Then I now went to minister somewhere, not too far away, and three crippled people walked in that meeting. And the news of that empowerment, he went back to the fellowship. So the leader said, This man did not have this anointing before. The anointing, we know how God uses it. He raises cripples now. They began to check themselves. Then I went somewhere again to minister strange things took place in fact that i came back and i was asking god what are you up to are you there when these things began to take place then god went to torment the lady that brought the false testimony the torment was strange and then she came and confessed that ah it is this pastor that came to tell me to do i was not even in that city when the confession broke out so by the time I came back, the elders came and, uh, you know, were in the house of God. Yeah. They, even their presentation was even very terrible. They couldn't coordinate. But you know what? God had elevated me. That was how God gave me openings to begin to preach in cities and in other places. So I, I, I didn't have time to be available for, fellowship, for the fellowship again. God opened doors and I began to minister in. I you. And I didn't have time 
to be available. Not because I didn't want to be available. But there were so many kingdom things that opened up that I had to attend to. And when I was already operating on this tangent of grace and power, it was one year later that the truth now came out. As at the time the truth came out, I didn't even need that truth. Because it was obvious from the verdict of heaven, in keeping with the spirit of glory that already rested, that heaven has already judged the matter. Are you, are you fully? Don't defend yourself. Allow heaven to judge the matter. A certain minister rose up recently and his objective was to ensure that he dishonors me. Did strange things and after doing that went to report me to other senior ministers. I, fully, I kept quiet. He did what you did. He didn't respond. Then you now went and reported. The story has not ended. When the story ends, I'll come back here and tell you this is what happened, this is what happened, and this is what God did. I'm waiting on the court of heaven for final verdict. Yeah. I have, I'm patient because I believe that God is a better judge than your own canal fleshly response let's allow god step in it doesn't matter how long when he steps in it will be evident that the spirit of glory has rested on the one that is on the side of the will of god many people will envy you many people will backbite you. keep quiet if you behave yourself god will be involved If you behave yourself, God will be involved in the matter. And the way God will answer is that the spirit of glory ah, will rest. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome back from that powerful message. I know you've learned a lot of things from this video. Oh, I don't just want us to see it in that way where conspiracy is happening, Shabo. Let us just assume that God is trying to raise men among us. And uh, no matter what, please, let's be one in the spirit. Do well to drop your comment also concerning this video. Like our video, share it to your friends. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.